Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today, a quick and short tutorial about a nice brain trick that can be easily done at home. Stereoscopy or 3D depth illusion is a technique giving the viewer a perception of depth from a pair of two-dimensional images. There are plenty of methods to enjoy or display this type of pictures. Some are really expensive and heavy to set up, some others, not at all. We will talk about them later. Everything will be made, real-time, inside Derivative Touch Designer. Get a cheap pair of anaglyph glasses anywhere and let's get started. If you are in the US, you will probably find a magenta and green one. But, if you are normal people, take a red and cyan one. Both are okay, though. Others colors exist, like amber and blue for example, but are more difficult to find. As usual, before building anything, a little bit of theory. Stereoscopy means two points of view, so we need two pictures, one per eye. The left image should be seen only by the left eye, and the right image by the right eye. Few things to keep in mind. The distance between the two pictures, we call interocular, is really important, because the whole scale of the subject depends on it. Indeed, if the distance is few millimeters, you are an ant, and this bottle will look like a building. Six or seven centimeters and you now are a human, watching at a bottle. All humans experience the world with this interocular distance. More than 20 centimeters, and you are a giant, looking at a tiny little bottle. The convergence, by opposition to parallel, is the optional rotation in the two cameras to focus on one part of the scene. It can create some perspective issues, but it's really useful. When you finally have your two pictures, you can lightly offset them in translation to define exactly how the depth will be perceived. Yes, really important info here. Some parts of the two pictures will almost perfectly match. This is where your screen is, we call this the screen plane. There is no depth effect on these areas. Pro tricks. You have some solutions to a better understanding. You can animate a switch top to get a fast review of your pictures. Or, you can compose the two images in difference mode, the black parts will precisely reveal where it is. Every object after this virtual plane will be inside, behind your screen. Every objects before it will be outside the screen. This is called the Jalisman. Let's dive into creating our own content. First of all, we have to create a quite simple rig for our cameras. Like this, with few sliders for focal distance, interocular distance and convergence. A light comp. Create some geometries to render now. A render top. Write the names of the two cameras just here, just separated by a space. Render select top. Let's change the camera index to get the render of the right camera. Constant chop to create a variable. Let's name it offset to transform top. Reference the offset value to the TX translation. Exactly the same for our second transform, but negative. Create a composite top. Mode. Difference to visualize where the screen plane is. Two nulls top. Rename them, left and right. You now have your two images. We are ready for 3D. If you want to display your images on a 3D computer screen, with the depreciated NVIDIA 3D Vision for example, or on a passive video projection system, you're good to go. In those cases, both eyes are required and you can provide them. In Touch Designer, in the window comp, you have this parameter, open GL Stereo to activate a right eye operator. If you want to use it, you must have, beforehand, set an environment variable. Go to the official wiki if you need further information. If you let your images side by side, you'll get a new image, we call stereogram. It can be parallel views, or crossed views. You can train yourself to view depth, by squinting, or get an optical device named stereoscope. Now, most of recent 3D TV or video projectors are able to operate with other formats. Top bottom or SBS, side by side, which is better in my opinion. We have to put the two eyes inside one image, resulting in a loss of information, but a very affordable solution. Layout top to obtain images in those configurations. If your video projector have a DLP link capability, you just need to found the active LCD glasses to enjoy colored 3D. Now, see the very cheap solution, the anaglyph.
But, seriously, try it, it's fun. It gave my pupitter a lot of style during long hours of office, back in the days. This one works way better with black and white images. Or let's say, red or blue objects will appear very strange, even blinking sometimes. Reorder top. For magenta, green, the red channel and the blue of the left image, and the green from the right one. For red, cyan glasses. We only want the red channel of the left image, on both green and blue from the right one. It's time to play with the offset parameter to make the final 3D depth adjustment. That's it. See, your screen never looks a deep. Other advantage of this technique, it works really well on smartphones and the results can also be printed on paper. Be careful. Outside objects can be interrupted by physical limits of your screen, or the illusion is broken. And we don't want that. If the disparity between the two eyes is too large, it can create what we call ghosting. The 3D effect will be broken also, and the only result you will get is a headache. If you want to add post effects to your images, you can't do it at the end. You must affect your images before the nulls, called left and right. That's it for today. Have fun with that. A huge thank you to all the Patreons who seems to love these shitty tutorials. And, yeah, that.